Well, they're an endangered species, and up until now, little was known about what leatherback turtles do during the summer months when they live in the waters off Nova Scotia. But video from a unique turtle cam has just been released, and as Carolyn Ray reports, the images reveal a whole new world. A dive through the eyes of a leatherback turtle. Just off the coast of northern Cape Breton, it's time for a snack. Well, this was the first time a leatherback uh, had been filmed feeding, at least from the leatherback's perspective, and certainly the first time uh, such video had been acquired underwater. It's taken nearly 10 years to complete this project. Up until now, researchers could only track leatherbacks using satellites. They could only guess what they were actually doing in the water. Over the eight summers they worked on this project, they attached the camera to 26 leatherback sea turtles, but attaching a camera to a turtle isn't easy. This special camera was created for the project by a team of Nova Scotian engineers. It depends on suction cups to stay on and an antenna that uses GPS technology. Then it was a matter of finding the turtles. I mean, we're working on an endangered species and they're very hard to find in the ocean and uh, even harder still often to approach and place the camera at the right angle the right time to get the right information. It's very complicated work and um, so for a while you know it took a lot of a lot of tries before we got it and so the first time we got the video was tremendously exciting for everybody. It took two years before the first recording finally worked. Researchers in awe as they watched the turtles dive up to 40 meters staying in the light to capture their prey. So we really need to understand how it works what kinds of things might be causing it uh, trouble what kinds of ways it uses the ocean. Now that they know what they do, it's time to look at new ways to help. These turtles are prone to getting caught in fishing lines, so seeing how they act underwater will help with conservation efforts when they return to Canadian waters in the summer. Carolyn Ray, CBC News, Halifax.